It's rolling, so that means action. It is the mad life, and you are here on episode seven. I think it's eight. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't even it think is you should. Eight. You're right. I don't think you should ever even say the episode number because I Me think too. you're gonna get. It's gonna up. start getting hard to remember the episode number because now we're getting almost to the two digits. It might even be nine. Is this episode nine? It's okay. We'll know once we post it and we put the title. Hey, listen. Yeah. Today we're talking about plastic surgery because oh. I've had some of it done. You have? Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Why would you go do that to yourself? I want to talk about how my experience was, like what else I have planned. When is it too far, in my opinion, for me? And just all about it. So I was nervous to get plastic surgery done at first because I've seen some really botched tummy tucks. I needed a tummy tuck surgery. My, my stomach got completely just crazily... With it was it, it was, was gnarly. It was one hell of a scar. You couldn't even really see my belly button. I had crinkly skin everywhere, stretch marks, and yes, I see the side that everyone sees that our bodies, like you know, gave us our babies, and it's so beautiful and it's wonderful. And I 100% agree with that. Our bodies are wonderful. We do amazing things. We create children. But I personally wanted to fix my stomach, and I was having the hardest time finding a surgeon. Well, that's okay. I'm really glad you did because your self-esteem level is... Can you tell I'm way more confident? W uh, yeah, way more confident. I'm way just like confident. so excited. Every single day when I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, I have like a normal stomach again. Yeah, it's cool. It's normal, good. Normal to me, what I want. So when I was thinking about getting the tummy tuck surgery done, I knew I wanted the tummy tuck surgery done since the twins were born, but for like five years straight, I was looking at tummy tuck surgery. It's just, I would just scroll all night. Keep talking. I'm going to adjust your mic for you because I hate. I know. Hate. Oh, I'm going to move it up. Okay, so I would just look at um, tummy tuck surgeries. Like my entire camera roll was like screenshots of different tummy tucks. Here, let go. There you go. Yeah, my whole my whole like camera roll was screenshots of tummy tucks, and I would save tummy tuck videos, and I would save different like, belly button videos, and I was like, found so many surgeons around the whole country that seemed amazing, and there were so many tummy tucks that looked so bad. So I was so scared because you don't see a lot of botched like breast augmentations, but I feel like for tummy tucks, there was bad ones, especially since they told me that they weren't going to be able to pull my stomach all the way down, that they were, I was going to have to have a vertical line too. And I was just really stressed out about it. So I kept like researching, um, talking to friends about it all the time. I had a consultation with one doctor. He seemed awesome. I had another consultation with someone, my friend, um, I don't remember who it was. I went down south to some like birthday party or baby shower and we got talking about it. And somebody told me about this doctor, Dr. Cat. And they're like, you got to go to her. She's so good. So, She's like Beverly Hills, like, like well known, has worked with a lot of different celebrities and stuff, which is, that doesn't necessarily And it matter, wasn't but even about that. It was mostly like when I looked at her art, when I looked at her work, it was less like picture perfect. It I like was that you so call it art. It was so natural. I looked at yeah. her art. Yeah. So it was so she natural. It like that. So I see these other surgeons when they when they're all done, everything's all oiled and perfect, and like they did like the lipo and they do all this stuff, and it's like they got the abs and everything looks tight and and just so much. And then I go to hers and it almost looks like nothing was done. Like the scars are not there. Like there's not tightness. Like everything is just so even so i think that's what drew, drew drew me into her and like the belly buttons looked so like any and like even and when i talked to her she's such a perfectionist so she was saying that she sews like layer by layer she so you none of her patients need to be on any like pain meds afterwards um she like the the scar is so low and so thin and my belly button at first was a little bit puffy but now it's like a total any perfect circle yeah. I mean, sometimes if like the circle, at first I was thinking the circle would look a little bit big and I was like, dang it, I kind of wanted to be a little bit skinnier. But if you compare to some of the other belly buttons I've seen, it's actually pretty good. Like, well, you're really going deep with this, uh, this, this tummy tuck stuff. I don't, I didn't do the research like you did and I didn't do any of the stuff. I was just kind of there. Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember seeing you me were very night? into it, very into the research and very into the, every night I was scrolling a tummy tucks, how to, f you know, how to, and now I've moved on to scrolling boob to... jobs. So m one of the <laughs> things is all these third plastic surgeons, they'll do the tummy tuck with the boob job. But Dr. Cat was like, no, that is not good because what's happening is you need to be able to use your arms to do anything 
to maneuver yourself when you got this tummy tuck because for six weeks you cannot be using your ab muscles, especially because I had to have a hernia repair. I had a diastasis uh, recti, they call it. It's like they had to like sew my abs were like six inches apart. Oh, it was crazy. Her abs were like over or here. like four inches. they're supposed to be here. Yeah. So she sewed everything. So she was like, you cannot use your abs at all or things will start to loosen if it's not ready. So she doesn't believe in doing the boob job at the same time because imagine if this is cut and you're trying to use your arms. Well, now you can't use your arms. And when you do your boobs, you should be able to use your abs to get up because you don't want to move your arms. Yeah. So she had all these special things and she was saying that um, it's just best to do them separate. Well, I'm glad you did because maybe you would have been... Yeah, but then the, the I would get jealous sometimes of the people that do it all at once because then, then they're just done. Like now I'm looking at boob job surgeries and I have to go for another like three weeks, be out and go do it. It can't be good to be under anesthesia twice in a year, is it? Or is it fine? Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I heard it could be bad. For what? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, I've been looking good. into it. Now I'm back to like stress mode on that. And I know it's like such a stupid thing to be stressed about. because I'm not stressed at all. Yeah, because you don't have to do it. I'm stoked. And I don't have to do it either. That's you don't thing. have to do it. But I want to. I'm glad. But here's what I'm doing. I am going very small um, for my boobs. And <laughs> I decided that like... <laughs> Well, most women, most women, from what I understand, all the women who decided to get like triple D's or whatever, they don't even want them anymore. Well, so they're reducing them. A lot of them are getting them. a, redu a yeah. reduction surgery. Reduction or just getting rid of them. Well, I've heard people say the thing like, oh, why would you go spend all this money getting a surgery if you're not going to be able to tell you did anything? I'm like, I kind of don't really want to tell. I want to look like I'm perky. All natural. But I you don't know? want it to look like a boob job. Like, I like the girls, especially since I'm so petite, the bodies that I look at that I go, oh, I wish I was like that. Are just the ones that just... Stop doing that, by the way. To look like other people? Yeah, you should look like yourself. You look great. Yeah, but my boobs are hanging down to my belly button. No, they're not. Not Pretty even much. close. No, they're not. Saggy. Saggy socks. Not quite. You're doing great. Who's, well, who's part of my saggy sock crew? Stop. Comment below. <laughs> 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 no, it's pretty bad. Okay. It's, you're trying to be nice. Should... I swear to you. I swear to you. I do not. Guys. I'm not on your team there. If you saw me. Uh, just let's put up a picture right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stoked, okay? I'm not stoked on where I'm at. And I see you through my eyes and I know what needs to be fixed. Yeah, that's okay. I think it's cool. I think it's cool when women get to decide what they want to do with their, their bodies. It's cool. Yeah, like we're just, I'm just deciding that. I'm not saying that it needs to be done. Like I had some moms reach out to me when I got the, the tummy tuck done and they're like, I have to unfollow you now because my daughter looks up to you and she's now seeing that um, that you have to fix yourself to be perfect. I'm like, well, I'm really sorry if I offended your daughter. But the thing is, is what we should all hope that, I, what I hope for is that everyone's realizing that this is like my journey. Like you're on my page watching like what I wanted to do to make myself feel more confident. I'm not saying that anybody yeah, isn't perfect in the way that they are. I think everybody's perfect, especially children and teenagers who haven't, you know, they shouldn't be doing anything to change who they are, like their body. I think that they're perfect the way they are. Yeah. Um, for me, I felt there was nobody in my family pressuring me. No people, nobody out there that would even notice if I did all my time to take down until the day I died. It was like for me, what I wanted it made me feel confident. Yeah. Um, it wasn't even for Kyler. He didn't even care. So I think like, yeah, you can unfollow me if you feel like now I'm fake or whatever. But nah. I actually did. I had another mom reach out to me and she said that I was f super fake one time because I went and got Botox for the first time. And at first I was like offended. I was like, oh shoot, am I starting to get like fake? Lack of education is all it is. I did Botox is not even that big so of a Botox, deal, right? No. So Botox actually is a preventative thing. It actually helps from allowing your body to get wrinkles when you're older. And I know there's this whole anti-aging thing going on or you're like, you don't really, you shouldn't have to care if you get older and get wrinkles. And yeah. so I see both sides of it. Like I get that. But I was also telling her, I'm like, if you think I'm fake for getting Botox, then I was also fake always because I've been dyeing my hair since I was 14. Like anyone that dyes their hair then is fake as well. Or oh, gets course. extensions is fake. Of or like there's so many things that we do to change yourself. A spray tan, that's fake. I'm fake as hell. So I was just like, Invisalign's getting braces. Like you're, everyone's trying to yep. do something there's with no their di appearance. There's nothing different. Th there's nothing different. This is the exact same So thing. I think it's mean on both ways. I think it's mean to judge somebody for doing something for themselves because that's just what they want to do. And it's also rude to judge people for, you know, when they're not doing anything. Oh, you're not cute. You're not pretty naturally. I think everyone should just 
be happy with whatever their decision is. Absolutely. I do think it's important as a mom to make sure that how you're talking about yourself from your kids though. Like I don't go over into my kids and be like, oh, I was so ugly. I'm fixing this. But I did come sometimes complain about my stomach. And I think they did hear me say that. Like, oh, I mean, so that's crinkly. a valid, it's a valid concern. So they would ask, ask me, mom, why is, me. why is your tummy all crinkly? Where's your belly button? And well, I would have it's to because say, of you. I said, well, because I had five kids <laughs> and that's what happens. And I said, it, it wasn't I, even that. It was really just that twin pregnancy. I'm telling you It right was now, just the twin pregnancy. That was like, you were huge. Well, remember I was like striped after yeah, the last like month wild. of pregnancy. It was and you like, still have some stretch marks from that. I do. Which so is when cool. They, when they pulled it's like a battle it down, scar. I still have them. I don't mind the stretch marks. It was the crinkly skin that threw me off. Like, yeah. I don't mind if your skin is all flat and you've got stretch marks, whatever. No, no. It doesn't matter. I even have some on my inner thighs and they don't even bug me. Yeah. So... I think, yeah, I think it's very important to know who you're talking to. Um, like how you talk about yourself is how your daughters are going to perceive themselves. Like, are they going to start looking in the mirror negatively about themselves? So it's very important to always talk positive about yourself and tell everybody, you know, how you were beautiful just the way we are. But it's also important for people to know that you, that it's okay to fix things if you feel more confident. So my next journey of something that I'm trying to fix is my boobs. So, so far what I've done is I, the reason I'm not going back to Dr. Kat for the boobs, like I want to go to her. Um, Dr. Kat is incredible. And because she's so incredible, she's actually way more expensive than any other surgeon I found. Like double. Like double. So for me, the tummy tuck was like, yes, 100%. I'll pay the money. Tummy tucks can get botched so easily. But I feel like most of the boob jobs I see are, for the most part, are pretty good. Like it's hard to botch a boob job, in my opinion. Yeah, there's some good. That's what I. There's some good docs around here, and they do a lot of them, so they'll probably be fine. Yeah, so like we're saving like literally a lot of money by going to somebody else. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with um, maybe local doctor. I actually just, I actually just emailed them yesterday and said once I fully decide on this doctor, um, I'll say his name. But I, I maybe just don't yet, you know. Yeah, not yet. Cause I, I, I just want to make sure that I'm like 100 percent confident in what I'm doing. Um, there is a lot of doctors out here. The problem is it's so hard to get in with them. So after I you met need an with Ottoman, yeah, we do. Matt, can you get me a, like a footstool? Anything, um, bro. Anything. So once I like started you. looking at doctors around Utah, there was a couple surgeons out here that I heard were really good, and I would like go to one of the talk to one of the surgeons and then I would talk to friends about it and they'd be like, oh, don't go to him. He's terrible. I'm like, really? And then I talk to someone else. Oh, you have to go to him. He's the best. About the same <laughs> one. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Why is everybody telling me that? And then somebody would be, you have to go to this other doctor. He's like an artist. Everything he does is perfect. I said, I go on his website. Well, where's any photos? Oh, he doesn't post photos. He doesn't need it. He doesn't use social media because he's so good. Oh. I'm like, well, I want to see what he does, you know? Weird. Then this other surgeon posts like, all of his photos and he looks like everything looks perfect. And then some people will say, well, he only posts the good ones. He botches people all the time. He doesn't post the bad ones. And I'm like, oh shoot, am I going to get botched? You know? So then I just get so confused. And then I go back to, I'm just going to go Dr. Cat because I haven't heard anything ne negative about her, but then she's so expensive. So I've just been like all over the place trying to figure it out. My final decision was just to go to this doctor, trust that it's going to be good. And cause for the most part, I've seen like only really good photos. Yeah, you keep showing me photos too. I probably shouldn't look at those. Stop showing me <laughs> I those keep while showing I'm driving. Kyler boobs every day. I'm like, what about this size? Maybe stop. You know, I'll be driving opinion. the car and she'll show me like I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you know, crash. So I definitely want to stay in the 200s. So everyone that ha that I've seen that has like in the 300s. I mean, maybe like their height's different or whatever. But like for the most part, that feels just like too big for me. So then I go in the 200s and 250s like the kind of on the big side to me still. So I was thinking like a little under 250, like in the 230 range. He wanted to do 209 on me, which was like, like really small because most people I've seen that look like a perfect size are usually like in the 230, 250 range. Yeah. So when I told him I wanted to go really small and he said like size 206, oh no, he said like between 195 and 206. So I, I feel like, like I'm a so really little. bad guest for this. Should I just walk walk and have you finish? Because literally this topic is all you, babe. We'll talk about your boobs then. I'm not, like, I just, I kind of starting to, I need Tyler to start lifting again. Like, <laughs> he, he's lifting his pecs are getting a little bigger. I would they're say like, they're like at the 100cc mark now. <laughs> How much do you lift, babe? 
Oh, geez, I don't know, 260 or something. Dang, your pecs are getting real muscular. <laughs> That's actually not. <laughs> hey, you know good. what's funny? I actually, speaking of like guy plastic surgery, you should know there's actually guys that get like tummy tucks and like, not tummy tucks, but like they I'm get, not doing they get it, like man. built in apps. When I was scrolling through all these tummy tuck pages, there was like a photo of like this guy. He goes in for the surgery and within like three hours later, he comes out with a full six pack. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Not doing that. That's for I sure. I know. We just gotta. You just gotta hit it in the gym. I mean, I'm losing weight, dude. I'm still. I'm still riding that 191 mark, 193 mark. You know. Kyle, you look great. I'm. I lost a lot of weight. I'm happy. I don't you want know? this podcast to be all vain. Like no, it's oh, okay. Get a six pack. The thing is, the thing is, man. Whatever makes you feel confident. Like I felt a hundred times more confident on stage having lost that weight than I would have if yeah, I Yeah, how much weight did you lose recently? 24, 25 pounds. Yeah, yeah and like one month, you lost like 24 pounds. No, it was, two months. it was like two and a half months. That's pretty good. Sticking to high protein, no sugar, no bread, no dairy, really. I ate cheese. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So um, a lot of people actually ask sometimes, you know, how I've lost some of my baby weight. The reason I don't talk about it very much is because I don't feel like I have like that great of a reason. Um, I lost, I lose a lot of my weight when I'm breastfeeding. I've heard it's one or the other. You either like keep your weight till you stop breastfeeding or your body just like pulls it all off. So every time I breastfeed my babies, I automatically lose like 20 pounds instantly within the first month. I don't even know if I could say this, but I was actually looking at uh, Abby, you know, Matt and Abby. Yeah. And she looks like she's losing all of that baby weight fast from breastfeeding. Right? Yeah, she's some like, people do. And it's she's, crazy she's very you, fit, though. She works out a lot, too. You see that? Well, it's just everybody. Like, yeah. any, anybody and I see, healthy. anybody I see, Lauren, all, all of our friends that have had babies recently, they lose it pretty, fast. Pretty wild how fast they lose it and how, how different they look. Yeah, I was, I, watch, I was watching one of her What You Eat, though, and she does eat really healthy. I, I try to eat healthy, too. Yeah. I feel like that's So, for really that cheeseburger you ate yesterday. You know, so, so, you know what's eh. funny? I will, what, the way that I lose weight, which probably isn't the best way, is I don't eat a lot throughout the day. Like, I barely eat. And then, like, every once in a while, I'll eat, like, so bad, like a huge cheeseburger with a bunch of rice. It doesn't shake. matter, really, to be honest. And as I long say as it's you're, okay. as long as you're under your calorie marks, you know, every day, like, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Did you know that? If you just had one piece of chocolate cake, because that's what you wanted that day, you're probably in good shape. It's probably like 850 calories within that one piece of cake. But you don't need anything else the rest of the day. Your body needs like like eighteen hundred calories a day. Maybe not you. Maybe not women. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. Is it fifteen hundred or something? I honestly think it depends on the person. Some people <laughs> yeah, need to eat more. So like my friend who had literally had like a perfect body, she was doing like these contests. She told me that when she was doing those contests, when she was at her her prime, prime, prime body was when she had to eat so much food during the day that she couldn't even keep up. She said she'd eat every thirty minutes Who's of that? protein. Brooke. Brooke, I don't even know who that is. Our neighbor. Oh, Brooke, yeah. She yeah. said she had to eat every 30 minutes protein. She had said she had to eat so much that she couldn't even, like, it was annoying how much she had to eat. Why don't you have Brooke to, on the to podcast? Have, to have a six pack. Let's go. I'm going to go across the street and get Brooke and have her sit in the rest of the episode. You talk yeah, to her. Yeah, go get her. It'd be so funny. This here, is so random. See if she'll come in here and talk about her protein stuff. Okay, you keep talking. So she's, this will be good because I feel like I need some more guests in here. This is always me and Kyler. Um, Brooke is really cool. She's my neighbor and she is like a fitness pro. She was actually training me for like a year on fitness stuff. And I would just go over to her house and I, her husband was like a, a pro football player and for BYU. No, not BYU. He went pro. That was college. I don't know. She'll have to tell you the story. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, she... Is so good with like all her diet stuff. Like when she was doing contests and stuff, she was telling me she'd eat so like certain things. So maybe she can give us like the rundown on what she would eat. But I, the way that I lose weight is like by just by not eating a lot, and then um, it just comes off. But I know that's like not the best advice. That's why I don't I don't give my advice to people because a lot of times people will be like, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "I just don't really eat a lot," and I don't want people to follow that unless you want to try it. Um, so Kyler, what's up? How's it going, man? It's really quiet in here. It's just me by myself and you guys. What else should we talk about? Okay. So comment below what size, if you guys are into all this plastic surgery stuff, like what size you think is small if you've ever had them, because does 195 to 206 CC sound like really little? Because to me that was sounding 
okay in, in the room. And then when I was researching people that had like 253, 230, they seemed a little. So I'm like, am I going to be like flat? I don't know. Another thing I was scared about was the lift because the lift is when you they have to cut. I don't know who's watching this podcast. If you're a kid, get off of here. Um, so they have to cut your nipple off and then they have to cut down. So it's called a lollipop scar. And that's if you're lifting. And that's what I didn't want because if you don't get a lift, then you have no scar because they just cut underneath. She didn't answer. And slip it in. No, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> that was random. That would have been so funny, honestly. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to get like, a lift and so I was like so stressed out about it because when I first went in there I said listen I don't want to lift I don't want to have the lollipop scar and he's like you need a lift and I'm like well that's rude why do I need a lift you know and so then he's like measured me and he's like so there's like the extra saggy people and then there's like the people that don't need a lift you're like right on the in between you're like almost to the complete saggy side <laughs> and I'm like oh gosh okay are we talking about boobs again yeah Goodness and so he sakes. basically told me I'm freaking saggy and so I already knew that. And you're trying to tell me I'm not. Okay, so. I, I don't have, just, I think I just. So I have to get the lollipop see you scar. Differently. I have to get the lollipop scar and I'm not happy about it. But, but the reason. What the hell is the lollipop? Oh. Yeah, right. they have to cut my whole nipple off and stuff. And they said that you can like not have feeling, feeling for like years. Oh, no. Is that like worth it for my boobs to be perky? That's up to you. The reason that I just don't like them saggy is because. Like when I'm in like bathing suits and stuff, I can't wear anything unless it's a sports bra bathing suit because like if anything that goes into a V at all, it just is like this flat sagginess. <sighs> I just don't want that. Wow. So I'm going to go with the lollipop scar. I think it's worth it. <laughs> you don't have feeling in your stomach already, so you might as well just not have feeling Yeah, so I still cannot feel from my this part of my stomach, just right here. Everything else I can feel, but like right here, it just... I can feel it, but it feels like, you know that feeling when you go get your teeth done and like, you know, your gums right there, you can kind of feel when you're pushing, but it's like so numb. Yeah. That's what my whole stomach feels like. But some parts are coming back. Like right there, I can feel. Your scar anyway, is getting light too, which is cool. My scar is almost like gone on my stomach. So I think if I do get the lollipop boobs. <laughs> oh, shiz. If I uh, do end up getting the lollipop boobs, <laughs> the scar is going to go away and then it won't be a lollipop anymore. Maybe not. I think over time. If I do know. really good at the scar cream. Anyway, if you're lollipop boob girl, comment below too. <laughs> um, what else? Kyler is getting like a an enlargement surgery down there. Tell them about that. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You think that's pretty funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> Come on, Kyler, do something. At least you should, you should get like my face tattooed on your butt. Come on, somewhere. Kyler, at least do something. I have to do all this stuff. You should at least tattoo something somewhere. Um. Anywho, that's that's all my plastic surgery stuff. As far as like taking things too far, so yes, I've had some Botox done. Um, I haven't really done much anything else, but I think what would be really cool. As I get older, is yeah, to just do Botox and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with this. What time is it, Matt? You're starting to text. You're not interested. I'm, I was texting Brooke. I'm interested, actually. So, I'm so Brooke. I'm trying to talk about what's taking it too far. Yeah, I don't. Plastic surgery too far. I think there is too far. I mean, you see those people walking around Beverly Hills that you're just like, they don't even look human anymore. Let's be honest. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little too much. Yeah, they get the, these face things and just their their jawline, everything's so tight and like just bone structure and just like there's no, it's just, so it, think, it is what I it think, is, but that's what they want to do. It's no different, but sometimes it does look a little bit like a little bit out there. So right? here's what I've always no thought. No offense to anybody. That I wants always to think that sometimes like the Botox and some of that stuff actually looks okay when you're in like your 50s and stuff. But once you start getting into your like older ages where natural wrinkling should be there, I think it starts looking a little bit too much. I think like a little bit of natural wrinkle mixed with a little bit of Botox. But keep your natural wrinkle if, as you're older. I think it's beautiful to be like an, if you're an old late, like an older lady, it's beautiful to be like an older lady. Like it brings like, Something beautiful to it, the wrinkles. Brooke's coming over right now, so I'm going to sit her down. 
Okay. Okay. I'm gonna sit her down. It's gonna be funny. Okay. You guys can talk boobs and butts and all sorts of sh- stuff. Yay! A girl to talk boobs and butts with. <laughs> Hello. Come to my podcast. Why are you doing this to me? So I'm this was the neighbor. You're, just the neighbor. <laughs> You're the neighbor with all the wisdom. No, I'm really not. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just the neighbor that like lives across the street. I'm so excited you're here. <laughs> Why you, you guys, this, this is Brooke. Okay, you had to bring your mic right here because you're a professional. Oh, I. They need to hear from you. <laughs> Okay, so Brooke, we were just talking about boob jobs and and oh. tummy tucks, and now wow. it, it kind of moved into the into like how to lose weight. And then I started talking about eating and how I one of the ways I lost weight was like by not eating, which isn't very good. And yeah, how no, that's stupid. I know it's stupid. Yeah. And so I was saying my friend Brooke knows because he. I was saying when you actually ate the most, you're saying all that yeah. protein stuff was when you had the best body. Yeah. So I wanted you to tell, like, what were you eating and, like, how did how oh, did you do that? Wow. Um, you guys really or, put me on the spot here. Or, um, <laughs> can you tell me to, like, maybe do my hair? <laughs> <laughs> no, you look so cute. You, she always looks amazing. Oh, sorry. She's okay. just a fitness um, pro. No, actually, yes. Like, people think that is the way to lose weight, like, um, less calories, right? Always yeah. in a, like, deficit. And it's actually not. In fact, many of my friends have tried that. And then they, your body starts to hold on to fat. Where am I supposed to look right now? You? You can look at me uh, or in the camera. It's podcast. So it's recorded. But <laughs> okay. Don't worry. So um, <laughs> then they, your body starts to hold on to fat, or you can be like skinny fat, mm-hmm. as we've all experienced, yes. maybe after babies and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I was. It was like I was skinny, but like squishy. nothing. Squishy. Nothing's like firm. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's nasty. But yes, when I was eating my mo- the most calories, when I was doing my fitness shows, is when I. I weighed more than I do now, but was leaner okay. and just cut. Yeah, I remember you saying that when yes. you were working out. You're lots like, of chicken, so lots of egg whites, oatmeal, turkey, string cheese, cottage cheese, um, Kodiak protein cakes. Like okay. everything I made had protein in it to get lots of protein. Because women, we we do not get our protein intake that we're supposed to get every day yeah like not even close and even me right now i'm not even getting and it. you had to eat you said like so much oh, the day, so right much. like it's not just breakfast lunch and dinner oh it was gosh. like little like, things yes all day I, yeah i couldn't even keep up with the calorie intake like by the end of the day i'm like i am like oh my god i am so full i can't eat one more like any more rice Isn't that crazy chicken. that you can eat you really like, body like, needs the food and you're just getting a better body by doing that yeah yeah. It's because... Because we don't feel our body. We get up. Yeah. We make our drink. We get our kids <laughs> to school. It's one. We still haven't had a balanced meal. Yeah. No, I like, never do. It. I feel like I really am just like starving all day and then I'll yeah. have like a meal that's just crappy like kid yeah. food or something. Yeah. And then you just Bro, go... Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I know. I can hear her. Um. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, we do that every day. I mean, I, I still do it because yeah. I'm just not, you know, I just can't care and about that, it every day. Um, so is there like something you have to eat first before you eat something else? Is that like a thing? Like um, you have to have like a green No, but you are you supposed carb, to get up. A or... lot of women also, we don't get up. Like when you get up and eat, yeah. then your metabolism like wakes up and it starts. But none of us moms do that. We get up yeah. and then we're just busy, busy. We make a little protein shake. And the best protein is actually not shakes. It's from oh, okay. real protein, meat, cheese. Yeah. Cause I always make a protein shake in the morning. Yeah. But actual really good protein mm. is from like real protein. You shouldn't have just like, you can't count on shakes, protein yeah. shakes for all your protein. So if you want to like build to muscle, food. lean fat, <laughs> then you really, yeah, you actually have to like meal prep. I think that's like what my new journey, like what I want to do now is because I've kind of now I'm like done with the tummy tuck and I'm yes. like healed and I'm starting to work out. I'm starting to get consistent. And yeah. now it's like, well, how do I now like sustain the muscle? I think it's yeah. about diet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Abs are made like, in the kitchen. Yes, Madison. I know. I need that. Yeah. They're made in the kitchen, not in the gym. I okay. Should, I, I, are you? What? Do you second that? Kyler. Same with guys. Do you think guys have to eat differently than girls to get the muscles? Well, same kind of stuff. Yeah, but they they lose weight easier and build muscle mass oh, faster. Really? I, didn't know yeah. I was gonna say I lost Lucky. more. I lost more weight eating like the m- most protein I ever had in my life. Yeah. Um, 
I lost you know, 25 because pounds. That's all you were eating was protein. That's all I was eating was protein. Yeah. Real protein, like meat. Like. Exactly. Real protein. Not the protein shakes, the powders. Like, I still love those. Those are still great. I still yeah. do them every day. It's a great supplement. Mm-hmm. Great supplement. And just to help. But the real, you should be eating your protein, not drinking it. So how much should I be eating? Gosh. Like, isn't it like a gram like per I'm pound? I'm working out once it's, a day. I, I can't even remember what it is. You guys. It's like a okay. gram. It's a gram no. per pound of your weight. So like, so like if you weigh a hundred and... 20 pounds then you have 120 grams worth of protein a day how do you weigh that it's very difficult it's very difficult to have and that's another thing is the weighing i I can't with the weight. you had to do all the weighing and stuff no 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 no, never did it it. and i know people that do and it's just like what are you doing you're gonna be a freaking head case like (laughs) are you gonna weigh your burger like and when you go out to eat you have to bring your scale with you to the restaurant no i'm not into that (laughs) i'm i don't own a scale i never weighed my food you don't weigh your food. Like, just eat. And I yeah. do 80 20. Right now, I live off of 80 20. I 80% healthy, 20% half a freaking cookie. Order crumble. It's fine. Yeah. If you, you ate egg whites, you got a salad for lunch. Well, especially if you're working out like you do. Like, we don't we don't work out like that. It yeah, definitely but you helps still if we yeah. do that. Brooke's so cute. She just ran a 5K marathon with her daughter, who's <laughs> seven, eight. She's so cute that she I can do that. It. But Rocky ran but it, and she took she second in her age group. You're she ran it. Yeah, eight years old, ran it in 29 minutes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. She how did really good. How cute is that? So Let's talk about how funny it is that we just ran across the street and grabbed Brooke. Now she's on the podcast. Yeah, it's really good. My podcast. Like, we were talking. We were talking about boobs before. It was really cool, but I started to get kind of like awkward. Kyler was getting like, awkward. <laughs> I've been showing Kyler pictures of boobs. She every just shows day. me pictures of them all the time. I'll be driving. All right, wait, aren't you done with that? No, I haven't done the boobs yet. Only the tummy tuck. Oh, do you still need to do that? Yeah, they're so little, floppy. Oh yeah, I can't have flop flop jacks. No, no, I was telling Kyler, have. I was like little floppy socks everywhere. <laughs> can't have flop jacks. <laughs> that's why oh, I love that's Brooke. That's funny. I know. Yeah. And so we were talking about like boob sizes, and Kyler was getting so uncomfortable. He's like, "Go get Brooke to talk about." Okay, don't don't go big. No, I'm going super small. Go, yeah, don't go big. But I'm worried he's doing too small. So my friend, yeah, don't go too small either. That's not I good know. either. So he went in to do like I don't even know if you know the CC. So like yeah, some of the smaller girls that like get like 250 or 230. He's trying yeah. to do like 195 on me to 206. Okay, they're like really I mean, small. Yeah, but you're you're little. How tall but are I you? Want, didn't want to look like a boob job. I'm five four. Okay. I mean, I like whatever's going on now. You know I'm mean? five eight. I did yeah. 350. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, most people that do like 350, okay, yeah. it's more like, oh, okay, they have nice boobs, but I'm kind of looking more of like the size of like, I you go don't the two really number. have a big 250, 230. Whatever you said. You said 195 to, to 206. Yeah, I definitely go a bigger, bigger on than that. that. No, Maybe. just around there. That's good. You think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it's look like. Yeah, don't get crazy. I don't yeah. want to go crazy. We don't need porn star <laughs> across the street. <laughs> yeah, I don't really you want people good. talking to me. <laughs> See, like when I look at you, I'm like, isn't they don't look seem like huge? They just seem like perfect. Well, why not? Yeah. No, oh, this is getting awkward. No, again. People, <laughs> people, Kyler, what are you doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I you, you wanted it. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna make this awkward for fun now. <laughs> so this is the part of the podcast. Did you used to show Austin pictures of? You know? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, what do you think about these like, ones? Oh, I'm I think like, these are what great. Yeah. this size? Like, I go to every plastic surgeon's page. <laughs> yeah, but they have that now where you can like go in and they literally have all of put your boob job in on a computer and then you can literally see oh, what know you that? look like. Should yeah. I do that? Yes. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's kind of like Invisalign for boobs. Yeah, it's like Invisalign for boobs. <laughs> you know, you, you can see like how they're going to turn out and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. On the computer, you can like shift it. Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to try that out. I I don't know who I'm going to yet. So I told everyone I'm going to tell them if they want to know. There's a lot of good ones in Utah. Yeah. Like this is where a lot of people come for but the, the To get oh, in is like a year out. Just for really? just for consultation. Yeah. Like I called one of the doctors. They said they can't even get me in for the consultation until May. And then it's like a year after that for the surgery, mm. which is fine. I guess I could just wait. Yeah, but or just go to someone else. I have a doctor who said he can do me in July. Oh, yeah. That's still a year away. I know. <laughs> so far. In July. Five more minutes. Oh, that's funny. Well, Brooke was the <clears> one who has been tra- was training. Well, not training me, but we were working out together. I felt like you were training yeah. me in a way for like a while. Yeah. And then she left me for and what? And then I left F40, her for F45. F45. Yeah. <laughs> it was because I knew how inconsistent I was. Like when you would yeah. text and I wasn't available or then I when know. I was available, like you were I feel like out. your schedule's better now. You it is. I'm getting back. in a better schedule. Yeah. Are you still working out in your basement? Uh-huh. Nine, yeah. nine fifteen, nine thirty okay. every morning. She teaches like surge. We're She's not really early morning good. people. Sorry. So it's always like a nine thirty workout. But last year you guys were trying to work out at six AM. Just want to teach my class. Yeah. 
So Brooke teaches classes and then she teaches in her basement and she does surge. So surge is a really cool workout. If you've never tried it, it's like a mix between no, like surge is what, the best, lifting and cardio. Yes. L- weights. Yes. Yeah, like weights. Which that that's the most important. Eat your protein, lift your weights. Yeah, because you know my whole life I was just doing cardio. Yeah, I no. just run and you don't see any yeah. like muscle. Tone. And a lot of people don't realize that once you do like past 20, 25 minutes of cardio, you're just burning your muscle. You're yeah. not you're not building it. And so, you want to burn your fat, not burn your muscle. Yeah, and I heard that when you run, you just take mm-hmm. whatever your body is then and just lower the mass. Well, you just stay almost. the same too. You stay the like same if you want your body smaller. to just stay the same, then sure, just do run. that. But women need to lift. And I, everyone is like, girls are scared of lifting weights. They're like, I they don't want to be big thought, and bulky. That's what I always thought. No, yeah. I always was like, I'm not going to lift muscles because I don't want to, I mean, lift muscles, lift like heavy weights. Yeah. Well, I thought that you can lift five pounds. You'll get like, li- like yeah, no. nice muscles. But, and if you yeah, lift no. like heavy, then you'll get bulky. Yeah, no. But that's not. I, I lift as heavy as I can where you're making the ugly face, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then that, and that's, that's how you good. get the best body. Yes. Yeah. And then once you, you know, build more muscle, then it burns your fat. And then it's just a win-win. Okay. I'm going to do all this. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments if you have any more questions. Brooke's going to be answering them all in my comments this week. <laughs> so now let's talk about, let's talk about butts now. Because butts oh, are my favorite. Oh, okay. okay. So the you, squats. Can we stand up and like show you our butts? See, uh, now, now you need Austin here because he'll... Yeah. You, oh, yeah. And Wait, you, I was trying to tell them about your husband was on squats. a football team, but I didn't know what. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's guess. He doesn't know anything Let's about guess. football or I anything. said BYU, but I know you went pro oh, that. Yeah. Past okay. that. Yeah. But Colts, what was it? Colts, Colts and the Patriots. And Patriots. Yeah. Dang yeah. It, I'm sorry, Brooke. Like only the biggest I wanted teams. you to tell them because I wasn't... I couldn't remember. <laughs> no. No. You're not. You're not a sports... We, we talked about this. The ESPN app, you don't have it. She knows nothing. I was thinking about taking her to the BYU game tonight and I decided not to. Well, you can come over and watch it Sometimes with us. I still don't know what, what calls they're making. Like, we're okay. just doing all these things. I don't know what it means. Well, that was the call. That was that was my BYU football game call. So Come watch it with us in the backyard. No, I'm going to be at the game. You. <laughs> oh, you're going to the game? I love going to the game. I love going to the game, too, but because Austin hates it. My f- Why? Some of my family had tickets. They were like long-time legacy, legacy donors oh, yeah. or something. They have the, the on the 50-yard line, right behind the R.C. Willie chair type of seats, you know? Yes. So my brother-in-law took them over. Oh, and that's so fun. Every once in a while, people don't want to go, and then I go. <laughs> Everybody knows how much I want to go. That's going to be fun. Kyler loves the football. Well, he I always love wants, He wants to go to high too. school football every week, too. Oh, me too. And I, I love really going to the high school games. Yeah. It's so fun. It's so fun. I'm actually going to go to the Sky Rage game. We're going to go to dinner, though. Okay. Before. That's cute. Anyways, this is getting <laughs> so... Football, fitness, boobs, butts, all of it. This yeah. is a great podcast. <laughs> this is great. Brooke, thanks for being so willing to just jump in, you know. I, I wasn't even willing. I just think oh, I got, you forced got forced into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just grabbing my daughter. Oh, nice. <laughs> her daughters are the same age as my girls, so it's so cute. I really did force okay, her in the chair. Well, I'm sorry. Thank you, Brooke. really did, but anytime. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next time we'll talk some drama. Okay, well, Brooke will be back for drama. Oh, yeah, I love drama. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. I, I, you do like drama, actually. You I just of, like to hear about it. I don't cause it. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, we can talk I don't have it. I just like to know it. You like to talk about it too yeah yeah, yeah. it's fun okay well thanks Brooke. okay you're welcome thank you guys wait 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 you gotta wait till it's like okay. over oh, okay oh here. thank you guys for here. hanging out um on the mad life podcast we'll see you on the next episode go make a difference and we'll see you later bye <laughs> go get your boobs done